hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel if you are new to this channel and if you are please consider to subscribe it help the channel thank you very much i want to show you what we got here we got this sandbar this is samsung sandbar c450 sandbar this is 2.1 channel sandbar with wireless subwoofer dts visual x this sandbar is bass bust adaptive sound lit game mode you can hook this sandbar to your tv via bluetooth optical cable when we open this sandbar up we're going to find out if we can hook it up via hdmi cable this is wireless surround sound compatibility so we're going to check it out see what is inside and i hope this will help you to make informed choice about this gear <laughs> This sandbar is with Dolby Audio. Here we go. This is the subwoofer here. And information pack, power cable, battery. It's using triple air battery for the remote and remote included in the packaging and also wall mount. Sandbar here. Nice, very light. Nice packaging. This is very light. Here we go. So the top is formica is wood and the front is cloth. So black clothing in front of it. Very nice. Very slim. Dolby Audio DTX 2.1 channel. See what it looks like. This is the subwoofer here. Beautiful. This is the subwoofer. So this is the manual. Remote control included in the packaging. the remote Samsung remote power cables so one is for the subwoofer and one is for the sandbar and wall mount and also the battery 
and the battery, three put air battery. So op optical cable and HDMI cable not included in the packaging. So this is the subwoofer. This is what we have here. This is the subwoofer and remote control power cables. So two power cables included. One is for the subwoofer and one is for the sandbar. And this is the wall mount and the battery and information pack. So optical cable and HDMI cable not included in the packaging. So this is what is in the box. So we're going to measure this sandbar from this end so this end is 86 centimeter length, 86 centimeter. The width is 8 centimeter width. Now subwoofer is 8.8 .8 centimeter. Okay, and the front from the front to the back is 30 centimeter. Then from this angle the height 34.5 centimeter okay. and uh, so the power cable goes in, in here where it's written power now this end you have digital audio in and USB so the port digital audio in for so for optical cable and usb port and the power cable okay so you can connect this with hdmi cable you can connect it via optical cable and bluetooth okay and uh, usb now i'm going to show you how to set this up using the mobile phone first of all what we need to do is you need to put the battery okay inside the remote control so we have the triple air battery is what it's using okay so take the negative to the negative end and positive okay to the end where it's supposed to be so Okay, now push this up. Okay, this is the remote. And this is the power cable. We take this cable, plug it, okay, to the back of the subwoofer, push it in. If you want to reset this subwoofer, you need to press this button here for you to reset it for five seconds. Then take this and, and plug it on to the power. And you can see, okay, so you can see the blue light is flashing. It's not yet paired. Once it's connected, it should be a steady blue light. This power cable goes to the power so push it inside to the power and plug it on to the socket this time by you can also control it from the top so this button here on the top is for you to switch it on the minus is for you to decrease the volume the plus is for you to increase the volume this button here is input for you to select optical or usb or bluetooth so we're going to switch this on and you can see it's showing us hello d in so now we need to select bluetooth showing us BT okay then select Bluetooth pairing so once you use the input to select Bluetooth then you select the Bluetooth pair and we will sh show you Bluetooth pairing so now we, we need to look for this sandbar using our mobile phone and if you look here 
okay the light is steady blue light which means that these are linked together so we're going to now look for this sound bar using the mobile phone you can connect this using your laptop mobile phone tv etc any bluetooth gadget so go to your mobile phone settings go to connections so go to your mobile phone and switch the bluetooth on then select bluetooth it will start to look for available bluetooth device what we are looking for is samsung c series here we go samsung c series select on it bluetooth pair request pair with samsung c series c4 series select pair and this paired if you look here it will show you the telephone so this is now connected in bluetooth then if you go up you will see connected for audio now we're going to test the audio using epidemic sound epidemic sound is music for content creator i'm going to put a link how you can get epidemic sound so i'm going to save music this is the audio So this is the subwoofer. is surround game A adaptive DTS visual X bass post
This is brilliant stuff. So I'm going to talk to you about the remote control for this soundbar. You switch the soundbar on and off from here. This button here is the input. You use this to select Bluetooth or optical cable or USB. When you select Bluetooth, then you need to select Bluetooth pair. You select this button to pair. The center one is pause and play. And this button here is mute. Then this button here if you push it upwards then you increase the volume if you push it downwards then you, you decrease the volume this button here if you push it upwards you increase the volume for the subwoofer if you push it downwards you decrease the volume for the subwoofer this button here is display when you select display it will show the connection you are currently connected the soundbar with it will show you bluetooth bluetooth bt and also show you the gadget you are using the center one is sound mode you select this sound mode for you to go to bass bus or you select it again it will go to standard if you select it again it will go to surround if you select it again it will go to game select sound mode again it will go to it will go to adaptive sound okay now this is visual center is displayed to, in a sequence the desired setting can be adjusted using the up and down button okay when the rear speaker sold separately are connected the rear settings level is supported okay and this button here is sound control button when press the setting audio sequence voice enhancement on and off and night mode on and off it display in a sequence the desired setting can be adjusted using the up and down button so when you select this it will show you can see it's showing us now voice enhance, uh, enhancement okay and this this is night mode okay so it depends on particular one once you select it then you use up and down button up and down here for you to adjust it accordingly this is tone control when press the setting treble and bass is displayed in a sequence the desired setting can be adjusted so this is the treble okay use up and down you can see it's going up to plus two or plus it's currently plus two so when you select this okay treble or bass then use up and down to adjust it okay so the bass is maximum it can go to is six plus six 